Hey everybody, if you've ever got one of these little cheap little wagons at Harbor Freight, you know that the Chinese are some cheeky bastards when it comes to hooking you up with the good metal that you need. However, this one here, it lasted quite a few years. Going out and hauling a little bit of this and that for the kids, they loved it, they could use it to build things with. And here's all the parts. Now the parts, they're not bad. The tubes for the wheels, they're hollow, they're not super strong, but it does work. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some old salvaged RV trailer plywood. This is three quarter inch and cut the best out of it and make a base. We're gonna attach it and then we're gonna put a little better quality half inch on top of that. And then what we're gonna end up with is a base. Now we're gonna build the base to the size we want because I've got a bunch of these concrete mixing pails or buckets or totes or whatever the hell you wanna call them, trays. Uh, but you can get it like like Lowe's or Home Depot. They're only about six bucks, but they're tough as hell and We're gonna use one of these mounted on that little wooden frame That goes on top of it. My kids are building it. So I'm doing a little video and Anime inspecting the hard work there. We're doing a little video on building it So don't just throw the little wagon away because this is all messed up Make something nicer out of it. All right, now Daniel and Four are going to work on taking a large magic marker and drawing around this on a piece of half inch plywood. And we're going to make the bottom half half inch so that it can be attached to the three quarter inch that will be the base frame for this. So right now that's what he's doing. And we're gonna replace that with that and we're actually able to put sleeves to widen the track a little bit on the wheels and put the tires back on it. So that's what we're working on right now. All right, now we're gonna be using all weather, all surface uh, primer to put on the boards. And I've cut the boards and used the grinder, the, the little four and a half here with a 60 or uh, 40 grit, with a 40 grit to soften up the edges and clean it. Now this is old plywood, but it's old American made plywood, you know, three quarter inch good stuff and looks rough but it's actually quite solid still now we got half inch once again american made plywood you know none of that chinese crap and this was a uh you've probably seen this before it's a panel half inch panel from an rv's bed very good and high quality 1960s plywood kind of cool if you look at my old videos you'll see that so we're going to soften the corners on it i have relieved them all the corners and we're going to grind them and smooth them to get ready to mount it so that this little project here gets to come out really nice and you'll watch how we're doing it uh we're going to choose which one between this one and this one that we're going to use this one actually is dirty but it's i think it's stouter and the best part is that that will drop down into this so that you can haul different things and use that as a base could never do that with that all right next step He's over here mixing the paint now. Okay, now what we've got here is we have the two uh, Karen Daniel painting and we're using this stuff right here. It is a one, two, three primer water-based and it's very good penetration on the wood so that when it goes in here, it's very deep, very protective so that when we install it back on the original framework, it's durable. And by putting three quarter, he has a three quarter, by putting three quarter, and half inch together, they are able to make it about a good solid inch and a quarter, really solid, Car carriage bolts go through very well, and the uh, strength of it will be way more than what that cheap little metal unsupported frame was, because as you can see on the back, I mean, it's just barely, barely imprinted for any strength at all. Yeah. All right, and now we've got the plates all put together. We've got the front steering assembly. Everything's been painted with a prime paint coat. And they are putting the carriage bolts in from the bottom up. They're going through this heavy gauge plastic tub. And right now we've got the bolts in here. We're gonna have the bolts. These bolts are all the way down here and they're working on the last few that are just to secure the tub and sandwich all the wood together. So you have one, two, three layers of plywood. 
and you're using and we're using uh, these Tacoma screw box loads here of two and a half to go through everything we'll cut the excess off of these bolts when we're done and use them lock nuts on all of it so as it sits right now they are almost finished with it we're gonna put the tires on it paint what we forgot and paint over the bolts too and then this will be done and these two guys will have their cart back in nice condition and I'll show you that here in just a second all right and my two kids have now finished they called me back out here what do you think dad I said well hell that looks pretty good so it's a tub that's on their little cart here and since they do their own garden it's about the same I don't know, square foot capacity, but this thing used to twist like hell. And, uh, I mean, look at this. It's, just, it's terrible. And um, it used to twist like hell, but now it's solid as rock. I think so. Holds my big ass. All right. There you go. Don't throw it away. Rebuild it. These two learned how. Yep. yep. And save your old tires. You can fill them full of cushion foam and they'll last a long time. These have been on cushion foam for a yeah, year. We should make a video on Who do what? We should make a video on the cushion foam thing. Yeah. That's what he says. You can take cushion foam, like from a couch, and just pile it in these things and they'll last five years. All right, guys, be good. Thor.